What is up everyone, Movie Way and back again with another video and today is going to be a brand new series I'm starting at the end of each month called What's Coming Next Month. So basically I'm just going to be telling you about all the movies and TV shows you might want to keep an eye out for September 2020. Now I've got to be honest I didn't realise how many movies actually do come out. I mean I did have an idea but when I was doing this list I thought I can't miss that one out I can't miss that one out and there was quite a bit so I will be definitely more prepared next month and I'll be doing this as the month goes on but basically I've just basically put this together in the last couple of days or so so do forgive me if I have missed any movies off this list it's kind of hard to you know find all these movies and when they're coming out on different websites because they totally contradict each other so these release dates are pretty certain but they might change they are subject to change so do forgive me now this is a uk movie date video so these are not us dates or australian or whatever it's just for the uk and i got this idea from a youtuber called rgt85 he's a video game youtuber and he talks about all the video games coming next month and i really enjoy watching them videos so i thought why not just put my own spin on it and do a movie related one so yeah here we go let's just get right into it by the way guys, I will try and leave all the trailers for these movies down below, but let's just get into the first movie, which is coming on the 2nd of September 2020. It is called Freaks, You Are One of Us, and this is a German movie. This follows a young female chef, and she suddenly discovers that she's got superhero powers, and there's a part of the trailer where, you know, someone walks up to her and she hits the guy away, and he goes flying into this wall, and she's pushing cars, you know, with ease and stuff like that. And she suddenly finds out this guy called Electro Man <laughs> is another superhero. So she teams up with him to fight crime in the city, wherever this is based. And it looks quite interesting, you know, it doesn't look bad. Uh, it looks like sort of like kick-ass, but maybe not as good, you know. But we'll see, we'll see. Now, this is a Netflix original, and this is coming to Netflix on the 2nd of September 2020. I will try and review everything on this, you know, on this schedule, but... There are going to be some that I probably will miss, but you never know. I will, I will try and review all these movies and TV shows that I talk about. But the first one up is Freaks, You Are One of Us. Now, the 4th of September is quite a packed schedule. The first movie we have is The New Mutants. Yes, I know it's been out in the UK this weekend. I'm actually going to see it tonight, but it's getting a full UK release next week. So on Friday the 4th of September, The New Mutants will finally be available. This movie has been in production hell and I just feel quite sorry for the people who made this film because it's just been get, getting pushed back and pushed back and when it was finally due to release in April, Covid hit so they have to cancel it again but it is finally here and this is a new X-Men movie and it's focused on a bunch of new characters and it's all like in this hospital I think and it's kind of a horror movie, that's all I know so yeah, I've heard conflicting things coming out about this in the early reviews, but I don't listen to reviews if I can help it until I've done my review. So I will have a review for this film coming probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to try and get it out tomorrow. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this movie. You know, I, I've done a top 10 anticipated movie list of the year and X-Men The New Met Mutants was on there. So X-Men The New Mutants, 4th of September, be there. Next up, we have the controversial movie, Mulan. Yes, this is coming to Disney Plus, but not Disney Plus as you know it. You've still got to pay £19.99 for this film if you want it on the streaming service. And basically, you get to keep the movie on there. It's not a rental. So I can sort of, you know, see that side of it as well. But 4K movies that come out are £25 here in the UK. So £20 for a brand new release. I don't know, I would definitely rather go and see this at the cinema, I'm not going to lie, but we'll see. I, I don't know if I'm going to buy this movie yet, because um, I want to keep cinemas going and stuff, but also I do want to bring a review to you guys, so let me know if you want me to review that film. It does look really good actually, it looks like a good live action take on the animated movie, which I really enjoyed, so Mulan, 4th of September as well. Next up is Dream Horse. Now this stars Tony Collette, which is a big plus point. She's a great actress and it looks like it all takes place in Wales. And she's basically waking up every day, not happy in her job. And she wants something else to look forward to. So she decides to breed a racehorse. And this looks like a good little drama type comedy movie, like a feel good film. I don't know if it's my type of movie, but I still might check it out. 
And yeah, I just thought you guys might like to know about that one. But especially with it being so close to home, you know, sometimes these movies that are made over here do surprise me and they have a different feel to US releases and stuff. So Dream Horse, look out for that on the 4th of September. Now that last movie, guys, I think it's a cinema release in select cinemas. But this one is a Netflix release and it's another Toni Collette movie, believe it or not. She's going to be starring in two movies that get released on the same day. But that's just what COVID has been doing to us. I feel, you know, movie releases are going to be quite weird, I feel now. But anyway, that's another video for another time. And this is called I'm Thinking of Ending Things. And it also has Jesse Plemons in there from Breaking Bad, who you'll remember, and Fargo. And David Thewlis, again, from Fargo. So... Yeah, this looks like an interesting film. It's basically about this young girl and she goes with her boyfriend, who is Jesse Plemons, to his parents' house on this farm. And she's sort of in love with him. She's been in a relationship for a while with him. But when she finally meets his parents, they are so weird. And this, this is David Thewlis and Tony Collette. And they're just acting really, really strange. And she starts to have second thoughts. It looks like a bit of a comedy, but a dark comedy. And towards the end of the trailer, it looked like it might turn into a bit of a horror film here. I just seen the title and thought, oh, what's this, you know? And when I checked it out, I got really, really interested in it. So look out for that one. I'm thinking of ending things on the 4th of September. Next up is another Netflix movie on the 4th of September again called Love Guaranteed. And this has Rachel Lee Cook in it and Damon Waynes Jr. This is just a bit of a rom-com. It looks like Damon Waynes Jr. has been on over 900 dates with this website. So he goes to this law firm where this girl works called Rachel Lee Cook. And, you know, basically he's going to sue this website for not finding him happiness. And it looks like, you know, maybe he's going to start dating this girl from the law firm and she likes him and... It looks okay, you know, about 30 seconds of the trailer, I did turn it off, but it looks okay, you know, I just thought some of you guys might want to check that one out, so look out for that on the 4th of September. Two movies then coming on the 7th of September, the first one is called The Second, and this looks like it's about a guy who's picking up his daughter from school, and this sort of agent is outside, and he's after his daughter and her friend. And he's basically going to kill them. And this agent is Caspar Van Dien, who you'll remember from Starship Troopers. It does look like a bit of a low-budget movie, but the trailer sort of interested me a little bit. I thought it might be good, or it could be terrible. But for you action fans out there, this looks like it might be your type of film. I think this is coming to VOD. Um, I don't think it's Netflix or Prime or anything like that. I think it's just going to be available for download, but I might be wrong on that. It's kind of hard to find what these movies and what platforms are coming to, but I will be more prepared for that next month, like I said. But that is called The Second. Next up is Two Heads Creek. Now, this is an Australian movie. Emma from Spooky Astronauts, I covered this nine months ago. This is a 2019 movie. And basically, this follows this brother and sister, I think. It could be a couple or a brother and sister, but I think it's a brother and sister because they go looking for their mother in this little town in Australia and it's just full of cannibals and it looks like a, a fun black comedy really with a fun horror black comedy if you like and it just looks like just blood and gore everywhere it looks kind of silly but that's my type of movie really so I thought you guys might be interested in that if you like horror that is Two Heads Creek and that is coming to VOD and DVD I think no word on a Blu-ray release I hope we do get one because I'd rather just get it on Blu-ray instead of a BOD or DVD, but that is coming on the 7th of September. Now, three big releases here, guys. This is the 18th of September, but some websites would get saying the 16th of September for two of these, which are the two movies, but the 18th of September is definitely the TV show, which I'll talk about in a second. But the two movies, it's either the 16th or the 18th. I don't know. They were conflicting each other. The first one is The King's Man. Now, this is a prequel to The Kingsman movies. It looks okay, you know, but I've got to be honest, I've never seen The Kingsman films. I'm going to try and watch them in the next couple of weeks before I go and see this movie and review it for you guys. Because this is a cinema release and I really want to go and see this. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been starved at the cinema for so long, so I'll definitely be checking the first two out before I go and see this. So, The King's Man, a prequel to The Kingsman movies. Trailer down below, guys, if you want to check it out. And the next movie is going to be... I'm going to do this every month, but my one to watch. And that is The Devil All The Time. I talk about this on my Movie Talk Weekly 
couple of weeks ago, and this has got Robert Pattinson in, you know, Tom Holland, it's got Bill Skarsgård in, and this looks like a deep South American thriller movie with lots of backstabbing. You know, it looks like it's got a good story going for it there. It just looks like a really dark film and one that I want to watch. This is my type of movie, you know, and I think this could surprise a few people. This is coming to Netflix. It's not a cinema release. It's a Netflix original and it looks really, really good. I was blown away by the trailer. I really was. So out of all the trailers I leave down below, guys, definitely check this one out because it looked really, really good. And Jason Clark's in there as well. So it's a star-studded cast. So that is the devil all the time. Now, definitely coming on the 18th of September is a new Netflix TV original series, and that is called Ratchet. Now, this looks really good. It's a prequel to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and Louise Fletcher, who won an Oscar for this role, has got some has left some pretty big boots to fill, I'm not gonna lie. But this looks really, really character focused. You know, it looks like you know, it, it it's it's gonna be quite sinister and you know, just how she treats her patients and stuff and it doesn't look like the staff in the hospital really like her either you know in this mental institute it looks really really good and this might be the next series to check out i'm probably gonna just watch movies for the next couple of weeks but i'm definitely gonna want to check this out when it comes to netflix and i do want to review it on the channel because it looks really really good I don't know. really interesting idea so that is ratchet who is better known as nurse ratchet but it's called Ratchet, and that is coming on a se September the 18th to Netflix. Coming on the 23rd of September is going to be Bill and Ted Face the Music. This looks like a really fun sequel, you know, to the first two movies. And I still haven't checked out Bogus Adventure yet. I'm really going to have to, but I was a big fan of Excellent Adventure. And, I, you know, I've seen the trailer for this a few times. Looks like a fun movie, you know, it really does. And this is really the big release of the month, if you go by cinema releases, I feel. Um, I think a lot of people might be going to cinema, you know, to watch this one. But the US have had it last week. They get everything first, and the reviews are very mixed. So I don't know. I, I just as long as the movie gives me a little bit of a fun time, I'm happy, you know, with the experience and stuff. But that is Bill and Ted Face the Music on the 23rd of September. I went on my local audience site before, and it said the 16th of September. So maybe we'll get a week in advance preview, like we are with the New Mutants. Who knows? But if it does, I will go and see it that weekend but Bill and Ted face the music September 23rd also coming on September 23rd which was a real surprise for me when I seen the trailer because I thought it looked fantastic is Enola Holmes talked about this in my movie talk weekly last month last week and the trailer dropped and this basically follows Sherlock Holmes' sister Enola played by Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things and this basically sees her looking for her mother with the help of Sherlock but Henry Cavill is Sherlock Holmes in this, so that's a great cast, if you ask me. And it looks like a really fun adventure mystery movie, you know. I, I was really surprised by this trailer. Looks like Millie Bobby Brown is breaking the third wall a lot with the audience and stuff, but it just looks like a fun film. Could be quite funny, actually, and I'm definitely, definitely checking this out on September 23rd. Netflix is getting some good movies here this month and starting to, you know, really put quality out there now. I was always hit and miss with the Netflix movies, but I think they're starting to, you know, get some really good films out there. So, Enola Holmes, 23rd of September. And coming on September 29th, you might be very well surprised to hear this, is Welcome to Sudden Death. It's a sequel to Sudden Death. Yes, the Jean claude Van Damme movie. But before you get excited, guys, Jean claude Van Damme is not in this movie. It's Michael J. White, who you'll probably remember from The Dark Knight. And, you know, he's the one who says, I want 50, uh, 500 grand for this clown dead about Heath Ledger's Joker. That guy. So, yeah. I know he's a martial arts expert and stuff. Looks like there's a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat in here. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to check this out, to be honest. It looks very low budget, but I just thought there might be some Jean claude Van Damme fans who are interested, though, that they're getting a sequel even if it's without them. So, 29th of September, welcome to Sudden Death. Okay, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this first episode of What's Coming Next Month. I really enjoyed watching all these trailers and checking these movies out. Is there any in movies that you're interested on the list? Let me know. I will reply to every single one of you, I promise. If there's any movies I've missed, let me know, guys, because this was more complicated to put together than I thought it would be. And if you want to subscribe, it's up to yourself. I'll be doing this every month, but that is up to yourself. Take it all easy, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.